Hi, and welcome back to Writing Light. Today, I'm very excited to share with you a structure for both writing and editing a chapter, which of course are the building blocks of your novels. Um, it's called CASTS, C-A-S-T-S, and I wish I could claim credit for it, but it's really the brainchild of Nancy Picard whose amazing novel, The Virgin of Small Plains, won the Kansas Book of the Year Award when it was uh, published in 2007. Her subsequent novel, The Scent of Rain and Lightning, has also been highly acclaimed. Nancy says she figured this out when she was editing. It's deceptively simple, and yet you could spend hours using it. In fact, Nancy conducts workshops on how to use casts effectively, but she's given me permission to share it with you. And although this isn't a workshop, I think you're gonna get the idea. It's an acronym for several elements, all of which are crucial to a really effective chapter. The first is C, and that stands for conflict. And we know that in fiction, there has to be conflict on every page, even if it's only a character wanting a glass of water that he can't get. There should be conflict in every chapter. It doesn't necessarily have to be the conflict of the book, but there has to be something that a character wants and uh, is struggling to get. A is for action. There has to be action in every chapter. Again, it doesn't have to be the primary action of the book, but something has to happen. Beautiful narratives won't do it, and dialogue, as interesting as it can be, won't do it alone. S is for surprise. Something in every chapter should surprise a character and or the reader. Again, it doesn't have to be a big surprise. It could be something as small as a character discovering an object that they thought they'd lost, or it could be the reader discovering that a character is not the person that they thought they were. Anytime a character says, oh really, what? Oh my God, you have surprise. By the way, surprises might be hiding. Characters don't readily see them. Tease them out, reveal them in a unique way, and you'll have more drama. T in casts stands for turn. That comes from Robert McKee's book, great book on screenwriting story, which applies equally well to writing. Something has to turn in a chapter or change Again, it doesn't have to be a big change, but it has to be some kind of change. Maybe the character starts off in location A and ends up in location B, or maybe the character changes their clothes, or maybe something really does change in the book that's really dramatic and important. Whatever it is, you have to have a T, a turn, in every chapter. S, the final S, in casts stands for sensory detail and uh, we all know what that is use your senses show don't tell by the way I have a post on that up on my blog if you want to find out more about it so that's it um, I use it quite a bit when I'm editing a chapter I just go back to see that I've got all the elements and as I said Nancy teaches a workshop so if, so if you want to know more please check with her website, nancypicard.com, and uh, I hope this helps you in your writing. See you next time.